Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Max. I'm the Fast Talking Flipper. Today, I'm going to be working with my buddy Dennis. He is Mr. Fix-It. You might remember him from when we first got the shed uh, about a year ago. Actually, a year ago this week is when we would have moved in to the shed because we were in there for our Valentine's Day party. It was a running joke. The Valentine's Day dance is what we were. But today, we have went to Home Depot and bought a whole bunch of wood and uh, we're going to get rid of all this stuff. We're gonna get it all out of here and we're gonna put it back in on these shelves. Not really getting rid of it. I just need to organize this. We need to make this a manageable mess because it is overwhelming right now. Having stuff thrown in here like this will defeat your soul quicker than anything else. So in an effort to make this more workable, I'm gonna build two shelves in here that are 16 feet long and two feet wide and six feet tall. I'm gonna build those like that and I'm gonna have plenty of storage space at that point to get all this stuff off of tables, out of piles and get it put onto the shelves and just nice and clean and organized in here once and for all. It's going to take me all day, but I'm going to do it. I promise you that. But I wanted to document it for you. I wanted to show you how easy it would be. It takes two people a day and we've got minimum skills. I wouldn't say we're great at this kind of stuff, but we've got minimum skills uh, that we can put together some shelves. We can, you know, hammer some stuff together. The most complicated thing is I've got to attach some kind of truss or gusset. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, I'm, I'm not a professional, but I've got to attach something up there to give us support once we build the shelves because they're just like these. This is only attached to the back wall there. These front edges are not attached to anything. So I, when I do that out in the middle here, the whole shelf can move back and forth, left and right. So I've got to take something to the ceiling because I'm not going to take it to the floor. I've got to take something to the ceiling to get it to work. So that's that's what's going to be the most difficult portion of all this. Dennis is out here setting up some tables. Say hi, Dennis. There's Dennis. He's setting up some tables so that we can take the stuff out of there and have it a, a place for it to rest out here. And here's all the wood that we bought. So far, we have spent uh, $313 on just wood and supplies. This will turn into the shelves. We kind of, you know, I kind of engineered them out. I don't know. I think I did okay with it. But with that, uh, we'll, you know, do some filming throughout the day and show you our progress. And we'll see you here in just a minute. All right, so it's just a blink of an eye for you, but it's 30 minutes later for us. And look at what we've done already. We've already got the whole place emptied, well, ish, to where we need to be. We're only gonna be working from about here down that way on what we're gonna be doing and building the shelves there. So like this stuff here can go back onto the shelves once we get the shelves built. But uh, that's where we're at. So we're moving right along pretty quickly. I'm running out of steam quick because I am tired. Of course, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have to get up early and I work at the college on Mondays and Wednesday nights. So I don't get home until like 9.30 and then I have to be up at 5.30. So there's not enough time in between there. By the time I wind down and everything, it's every bit of midnight, go to bed and then it's just up too early and you know I'm tired for the next day but that's where we're at give me a couple more minutes and we'll have things started we're going to start on the truss and figuring all that out i'm going to go ahead and take this thing down i think i think i'll post it for sale on facebook marketplace those things are expensive that was 180 dollars to buy um, it was great when we were in here but we don't have the height in the shed otherwise i would use it in there and and try to do something with it in there but we don't have the height in the shed to do it so i think that's what i'm going to do i'm post it on facebook marketplace and try to get it sold so that's where we're at but give me a couple minutes and i'll get started on framing Quick, before we get going to anything else, I wanted to show you what a death pile looks actually piled up on tables. It looked insurmountable in there. It looked absolutely overwhelming and insurmountable. But when you put it out here on the tables like this and it's just laid out, that's not that much. That's really not that bad. So I think once we put these shelves up, it's gonna really put together what you're gonna see as just an easy to get through death pile and we do have a little bit of stuff over here this was stuff that shouldn't have been in there it's all trash anyway but uh this stuff will be easy to go through once you see it on the shelves and we get things going rare angie sighting remember scream angie when you see angie we'll be back in just a couple minutes all right guys so fast forward about another hour and we're moving right along we're uh we've made all of our engineering ideas and whatnot and this is what we're up to 
We've got the base of one of them done, um, getting ready to go up and on, and we've got to cut some legs for them, and then we'll be just zooming right along because we've already got a bunch of the stuff either designed or cut, and you know we've got like these standoffs that we need cut and everything, and it's all ready to go. Just kind of you got to think through it. Like we had to think through like these pieces to attach it to these, you know, the the existing shelf, that kind of stuff. Get it all level. You know, the building isn't quite square the walls kind of stick out. Like you can see here that they're they're imperfect. You can see that we we had to do some bracing and some um, oddball stuff to get the, the stuff put together. So we had to think about that as we were doing it. That wall lays back a little bit. The, uh, the it's, it lays it back about five eighths of an inch. So in order to make our shelves even and square and plumb that they're straight up and down, we had to think about that and add that into our math and stuff. So that's what we're doing. We're just uh, engineering everything and you know cutting cutting once, thinking twice, that kind of thing. You know, measuring twice, so on and so forth. So we're going to get everything square. We're going to get it all put together, and then we'll make our truss up top up in there and we'll figure out where to attach it to once we get it all done down here and we can you know shimmy stuff and shake stuff and get it done but i think probably another two or three hours and we should be done um so it'll it'll be you know right now it's two o'clock so we'll probably be five six o'clock by the time we're said and done but i'll check back in here in just a few minutes Okay, guys, it is many hours later. It took us much longer than anticipated to get this finished, but it is done. And look at it. I, would you just look at it? It's a, uh, a wonderful sight to behold. We have two brand new shelves that we have already almost filled. Um, you can see here. We decided not to go with the truss system. We just ended up bracing them across the top um, to the ones that are tied to the wall. Uh, electronics, more electronics, kind of holiday themed stuff. All of our toys and whatnot, a uh, hodgepodge up here, kitchen wares, because we get a lot of kitchen wares for whatever reason, stuffed animals, that kind of thing. And uh, this looks like books or media, that kind of thing. So uh, we still have plenty of space up there, you know, all across the top. There's not a lot there. And some of this stuff over here is mix and match. And then we were able to get rid of our two tables that are up there and we'll continue to clean that out. Most of that that's there is trash or consumables that just needs to find a home. So we'll keep working on that as well. And then the, over here is our yard sale pile or mostly yard sale pile. Um, it needs to be gone through too. But for one day's work, and we get to return some stuff. We get to return these two boards, one more two by eight, and uh, the two clamps that we had. The clamps were horrible. One of them was broken straight out of the box. So I'm gonna return that. And the other one broke like after using it a couple times. So I'm gonna return that too. So total spent, we're probably, um, I wanna say short of $500 because I gotta pay for food, I gotta pay for gas, I gotta pay for dentists and all that stuff. I would say $500 to build 32 feet, uh, what, let's see, this is two by 16, um, by 16, by 16, by two. So each one of these is 48, 96 linear feet, 96 by two linear feet of shelving. That's what we built today. 96 feet, one length, you could just run 96 straight feet and it's two feet wide. Um, that's what we built in, you know, in this, this size. So granted, we have a, a bigger building than most people have access to, but still, this is what you're able to do in one day. Uh, we did this with minimal tools, a circular saw, um, a framing square, a tape measure, a marker, a drill, and a couple clamps. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's all it really took to do this. A little bit of thinking. We screwed up some stuff. It's not perfect. It's 100% not perfect, but it looks good for what it is, and I'm happy with how it turned out. Now we have plenty of storage for our death pile. I hope it never gets full. Really hope it never gets full because this is ridiculous as it sits. So we still have two other rooms that we have to sort through as well. So we could probably fill it up if we really wanted to, but then we'd have all those two rooms empty. So I don't think we're going to do that. But uh, tell me what you think. You know, did we do a good job? Did we not do a good job? How would you have done things different? I'd like to hear about that. Um, do you have a death pile story that your death pile has taken over a space and now you have to build, you know, storage for it like we did? Let me know in the comments down below. Bleep, bloop, do all that kind of crazy stuff. Like, Let's share, do all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one.